Land Rover has come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1948, currently producing some of the most capable, comfortable, coveted SUVs on the market. However, it all started with a Series 1 19 foot sec model and the owner is going to take us for a spin on our 4x4 track. These off campers always... Because just now I must have wear rubber pants or something <laughs> like that. How long have you had this car, Warren? My uncle gave it to me in 1992. Alright. I was 18 and he gave it to me as my 21st birthday present. But sure, I, lovely. I had to build it. Sure, lovely. So it was, it was also in a box and then it took me three years to build. Please tell us a bit about the heritage of the Land Rover. They came into being just after the Second World War. Oh, yes, and there yes. was an, ex an excess of aluminium from the aircraft industry. Oh, so oh, they used oh. up what was available, which was aluminium. Okay, cool. And it's carried through all the way to the new, to the latest Defenders. There's things in this vehicle that the same design, they carried all the way through to the latest Defenders. The H-frame chassis yes. um, and your the, the, the basic design of transfer box and everything, it's evolved, but it's still... Pretty much. It's pretty much the same. All right. And from about 1960 onwards, the, the body is totally interchangeable. You can take a door from a 2010 From Puma 1960. And put it onto a 1960s vehicle, it'll go straight on. Sure. As it is, it's pretty much standard, except a few little things that you couldn't get. Yes. I remember you spoke about the alternator. I've upgraded it from a generator yes. to an alternator because it's more efficient. Yes, yes, yes. But the engine, the brakes, the steering, it's all still pretty standard. Pretty much standard, yeah. okay. So I love the, if you have to look how old it is. Yeah. And how refined the engine is still sounding, I'm enjoying that. Yeah, you, you got to use the good old hand upside down on the steering wheel. Yes. Because that's the power steering. Okay. Here's the aircon. <laughs> Very efficient. I see, I see, I see. Land Rover back then already had that dual, dual zone air conditioning yes. system. Yeah, passenger and driver <laughs> independent air conditioning. <laughs> There's so many lovely stories about them. Winston Churchill has had his own personal series mm -hmm. one that mm -hmm. they gave to him. Um, there's countless stories of, of, of guys coming across Africa in a series one like this. Okay. You know, it takes them three, four months from the UK all the way to, you know, through Africa. Yes, it's a far cry from today's leather lined high tech Land Rovers, but without this specific model, Land Rover wouldn't be enjoying the heritage. It does go to show that without all the bells and whistles, less is more.